Take your dealership to the next level with over 6,800 on-air interviews with dealer and industry leaders. CBT News, dealer's most trusted source for news, content, and analysis. Welcome to CBT News with Cheyenne Malone. Happy Thursday morning to you. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Welcome back to CBT News. Let's get started with today's top stories. Ford unveiled its 2024 F-150 Raptor R pickup, showcasing improved in performance and comfort during a test in California's Mojave Desert. Priced around $110,000, this ultimate desert racer features a 720 horsepower, 5.2 liter supercharged V8 engine, advanced electronic controls, and significant suspension upgrades with new Fox shock absorbers. The updated Raptor R also includes a new grille, lights, and a modular bumper, as well as a refined interior with a head-up display and a digital instrument cluster. Assembled in Dearborn, Michigan, it offers a towing capacity of 8,700 pounds and is now available for purchase. Today, Kia launched its first compact electric SUV, the EV3, built on its dedicated EV platform. Priced between $35,000 and $50,000, the EV3 aims to attract customer-conscious buyers amid a cooling global EV market. This vehicle is part of Hyundai Motor Group's plan to introduce over 31 electric models by 2030, with Kia targeting annual sales of 1.6 million EVs by that same year. The EV3 offering two battery options with a long range model reaching about 373 miles will launch in South Korea in July, Europe later this year, and the US after 2025. Volkswagen announced yesterday that its ID7 all-electric sedan, launched in Europe in 2023, will not be coming to the U.S. market. This decision is due to changes in, quote, market dynamics and the strong SUV sales in the U.S. While the U.S. will miss out on the ID7 sedan, it will still receive the ID Buzz retro-inspired microbus EV this year and an updated 2024 ID4 SUV with improved range and performance. This decision reflects the broader trend of U.S. automakers prioritizing SUVs and trucks over sedans, which are becoming increasingly rare in the market. California is considering a bill that would require all new cars sold in the state by 2032 to alert drivers when they exceed the speed limit by at least 10 miles per hour. The bill, authored by State Senator Scott Weiner, passed its first vote in the state Senate on Tuesday. This measure, inspired by similar technology used in Europe, would use GPS to admit a visual and audio alert to drivers. Proponents argue that it will enhance road safety by making drivers more aware of their speed, while opponents criticize it as overreach. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has noted that speeding was a factor in 10% of all reported crashes in 2021, with California having the second highest rate of speed-related fatalities. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with Tully Williams, Fixed Operations Director at the Nilo Company, to discuss how dealers can fine-tune their retention strategies and keep customers coming back for more. Take your dealership to the next level with over 6,800 on-air interviews with dealer and industry leaders. CBT News, dealer's most trusted source for news, content, and analysis. So where do you spend more of your time? Is it, is it on acquiring new customers or is it trying to retain those customers that you now have? I'd say a majority of it is to retain our customers. Are we doing the processes that we want? Yes, we're always looking for new customers. Yes, we're always doing that. But that's a small percentage when it comes right down to it. You know, recalls are great because you get all these people that are out there. You try to bring them in to get that recall done. So we all have recall campaigns and try to find all these great bins because the manufacturer helps with that. And there's third parties that help with that as well. Right. But the goal is, is not to lose anybody. Yeah. And when we look at our company and we look at our stores, we rank our dealerships, our service departments on retention. We mm -hmm. have two stores that are over 72%. I feel that 72% 70 is the holy grail number that we want to go after. Wow. You know, and, and I use a third party to do that. It's not the OEM because the OEM, you know, they have their they have their ways. But I want to say we have a flat line. This is how we do it. Yeah. I let I let Cox do it for me. And we have a great standard 
of our retention number. Mm -hmm. do, we have, do we have issues at some of our stores? Some of them do because of the maintenance. Jag Land Rover, for instance, we have two of those dealerships. 24 months, a long time, right? Yeah. And a lot of times we look at retention, you're looking at that 12 to 14 month range. So, you know, we want to believe we have to have a great measurement. We have to tell everybody about that measurement and we all have to believe in that measurement and how do we make it grow. Well, that does it for us, but now you can find CBT News in over 70 million broadcasting households. We're on Roku, Apple TV, Android, and iOS devices. Simply search CBT News in the App Store on your smart device and you can watch our programming wherever, whenever. Thanks for watching, I'm Cheyenne Malone. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content.